discussing one more C++ program to find the sum of all rows and uh, sum of all columns in a matrix. In order to do so, uh, first let us uh, try to open up uh, Turbo C++ and after that once we have opened the Turbo C++ I will be opening the uh, file new and in order to maximize the screen I will be pressing F5. So here I will be writing a single line statement to find uh, to find the sum of all the rows and sum of all the columns in a matrix. So now, so what I'll be doing is I'll be including a number of data files that is uh, hash include uh, h and then again I'll be including one more header file called as hash include h and then I will be including one more header file called as iomanic.h. So these are the uh, header files that I will be including in order to do this particular program. And here within this I will be including void main. So here in the declaration part I will be declaring uh, the array size that is a of 4 cross 4. That is uh, 4 is the number of uh, rows and 4 is the number of columns. So in addition to that I will be declaring m and n and i and j and then uh, the row sum as well as the column sum. So these are the variables that I will be declaring in this uh, declaration part. Then I will be using this CLR SCR uh, to clear the output screen. Now what I need to do is I need to get the order of the matrix. So for that what I will do is I will uh, say enter the order of the first matrix. And after that I will close this and use an enter statement. So now what I do is, I have to get the order of the uh, matrix one, that is M and N. So once I have done that, now I need to get the uh, elements of the uh, matrix. So therefore I will say enter the elements of the matrix. So and after that I will close this double quotes and then I will press enter. So here, in order to do, in order to get the elements of the uh, matrix, I'll say int i is equal to zero, i less than m, and then i plus plus. And after that, what I'll do, I'll introduce a for loop, and within this again, this is for inner for loop, inner loop, and that is for j is equal to zero, j less than n, again j plus plus. So now within this, uh, again I'll close this and again close this, again I'll close this. Within this, what I need to do is I need to perform, I need to uh, get the uh, matrix elements. For that, I'll use a CN, that is A of I comma J. Now, once this the code is written for this, now I need to compute the row sum and as well as the column sum. So for that, what I'll do is again use the same for loop. So in order to do this uh, for loop, what I'll do is I'll copy this particular statement as it is and paste it over here. This is for uh, finding out the row sum. So in order to do for the row sum over here, I'll make the changes over here. I'll initialize the row sum to zero. And after that, uh, what I'll do is I'll get the uh, I'll add the values of here over here. For this what I will do is I will press the insert button to insert the to calculate the row form row uh, value that is R row is equal to R sum I mean R sum is equal to R sum plus A of i comma j. So after that I close this. So once I have done that uh, so over here again I will be pressing the insert button. Once that is done after this what I will do I will write uh, the C of statement over here and here I will say sum of uh, row number here I will write this capital R row number uh, within this I will close this double quote and I will say i plus 1 and again I will close this double quotes uh, again I will include equals so now I'll display the row sum, and after that I'll introduce an ender. So now this is how what I'll do is I'll find out the uh, sum of row value. So again now I need to find out the sum of column value, I mean uh, columns. So therefore again I'll copy this and again 
paste it over here. So now I need to change change few statements over here. Since the loops are same, I'm copying that. So instead of R sum, I'll say it as C sum. Over here again, what I'll say, I'll say C sum is equal to and again C sum is equal to A, A of I comma J. So therefore, I need to change this also. So here, in, instead of I comma J, what I'll say, I'll say it as J comma I. So here J comma I. So these are the changes that we need to do it. In addition to that, here I need to mention, I need to change the order, uh, the limiting value also. Here I should specify N and here I should specify M. And these are the changes that we need to do in order to find out the uh, sum of columns. Now again I need to uh, display the uh, uh, column value. So therefore I will say uh, column. Uh, column number is equal to, I'll say it as i plus 1 and in addition to that instead of r sum, I'll say it as c sum and after that I have to save this particular file. In, uh, in order to save this particular file, before that I'll introduce one more uh, get ch function over here. Now I need to save this particular file. I'll save this. I'll say uh, row sum underscore column sum and then enter. So now I need to check out any error is there. So let me check out there are no errors. So now I will press Ctrl F9. So now let me assume that uh, 3 is the order of the matrix and again 3 is the order of the matrix. Here I will enter the uh, matrix elements uh, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 elements. Now you can see that the sum of a row number, row of the first row is 6 second row is 15, the third row is uh, 24 and sum of column is 12, 15, 18 and this is how uh, what you will do is uh, let me run once again the uh, uh, program I will say it as 2 and 3 now I will be giving the elements as 1, 2, 1 and then 3, 0 and then 5 now if I just check it out, uh, the first row is 4, 8 and I mean second row 1 and 2 is 4 and 8 and again column 1, 2, 3 is 4, 2 and 6. This is how you will execute the C++ program to find out the sum of rows and as well as the sum of columns uh, in a matrix. Thank you.